What's going on guys, Retex Mojo here, I'm from Day, I'm ready to for you guys. I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your RG35XXH. So, in order to find the firmware that we're running, you're going to hit the F button on the top there. You're going to scroll down, or just hit up of course, and you do have your firmware version right there. So that's what we're running currently. The newest one guys is currently uh, 240428. We are running one that is about three updates old. So let's go ahead and grab that from online and let's flash this micro SD card. We're gonna go to the computer. I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to do. All right guys, heading to the PC portion now. So here's the problem that uh, I ran into. I actually messed up completely. Uh, I'm actually about eight hours into this entire thing. I kid you not guys. Um, trying to get this to work on the stock SD card. I'm hoping here I have it done. So, follow along with me, and then if you guys want to do it afterwards, like, watch this whole part, watch the rest of this video, see if it works, right? And then go back and try it out yourself, okay? Because it's been a huge mess. Uh, I was here like four hours last night, and now I'm currently about four hours in this morning, uh, and I'm not even done. So, I messed up the SD card completely, like I said, so... What you have to do first is, all right, I'm not gonna get into it anymore about how I messed up. Uh, make sure you have your files saved just in case, guys. And also you're gonna need it for the ROMs regardless. But uh, I just copied it. This is my new one right here that I reformatted and all that nonsense. So don't worry about that. When you put yours in your micro SD, you'll see all of these files here all right copy all of them over into a safe folder just in case so first thing I suggest you do because this probably will take a while is download the newest update here which is 428 the one we are going to be using just go ahead and copy this link into your um, your browser here we can actually just go ahead and look at that very quickly go ahead and download it it is like 60 gigabytes it took me six hours to download this yesterday so I already have it downloaded right here. So download that guys, and when it's done downloading, you will see it right here. So once you're into here, go ahead and extract this whole thing, which will give you uh, this folder here, this uh, V.1, because we can actually open it here. It'll give you that right there. So extract that whole thing, it'll give you this folder right here on top. When you go into here, you have 16 gig or 64 gig. I'm going to use the 64 gig because I have a 64 gigabyte card. You go into here and you'll see all of these Z files and on the bottom you will see this zip. You do need 7-zip to make this work guys. So go ahead and right click this, 7-zip, extract files. When you extract, extract the files into here, it'll take you actually quite a while but you will end up with this folder underneath. I'm not going to show the process of doing that guys because it took way too long, uh, 25 minutes, something like that, along with everything else here. But just make sure you end up with these three folders here, all right? And then within here, you will have your image folder, which is your firmware. So let's head into mini tool partition wizard, all right? so. When you have your SD card in, you have all your files copied over. You're going to go to disk three. You're going to delete all the partitions. You will get this here as unallocated space, guys. You're going to right click it and hit create. You will see create here. Actually, we could, um, all right, let's just do it. So unallocated, create, name it whatever you want. Stock, I'm gonna go with uh, R. FAT32, I'll go ahead and uh, redo it, I don't mind. Hit OK, hit Apply, hit Yes. It'll go ahead and, uh, you know, remake the partition. The FAT32 will have everything on it. USB drive E, don't worry about uh, the one underneath there. That was the old one I just got rid of. So E is what we need. Now, open up Rufus guys all right Rufus will be everything will be linked down below in the description all right so e 64 gigabytes is what we have for our new uh, USB drive hit select go ahead 
and grab that um, image file from the new folder we just made. 57 gigabytes, hit open. Leave everything the same. It's gonna say ready, hit start. Hit okay, you have nothing there anyways. And now let this do its thing. Let me go ahead and close mini tool. All right, I'm gonna let this right over and I will see you guys when it's done. I'm gonna speed this part up. All right guys, so I ended up uh, cutting out a whole bunch there. If you look on the bottom right, it's been 59 minutes. So this legit took us an hour. I re was recording for, I think, 35, 40 minutes of it. And now I was like, you know what? I legit need to stop because it's just a waste of everybody's time. So I cut out a whole portion, but yeah, it took us an hour for this. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember where we really left off. Uh, Right now we're flashing it. I am gonna have to check to make sure that it works. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous, it worked. Yes, guys, all right. So what do we need to do now? We need to check out the space here, make sure we have enough uh, one gig free. So we're missing something. What are we missing here? Oh, oh, this is gorgeous. It took everything over. Oh, that is absolutely phenomenal, guys. So that's about it. I mean, that should be good. Let's go ahead now. I am so relieved, guys. I am so, so relieved. We're going to eject this safely. Let me just make sure we have everything here. ROM's good. Check the BIOS, of course. Perfect. That is absolutely gorgeous, guys. All right, so close this out. Close. We're going to safely eject our micro SD card, and I will see you guys back on the RG. All right guys, hopefully this video is not too, too long. So this is going to be our first boot up with the new firmware here. So this may take a while and it may not even, oh, okay, not too bad. Let's say it may not even start up right away. Uh, you might have to give it a couple seconds there. But so far we're looking pretty good here. I Why is that glare? Sorry about the glare, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just dirty, my uh, Oh, that's my lens. That's my actual camera lens. Oh, wow. This went on a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Um, let's check the ROMs. Oh, yeah. Guys, absolutely gorgeous. Take a look, Dreamcast. Very nice. Let's go ahead now, hit F on the top. Let's take a look at our firmware. 202-40428. Guys, we are brand new once again. I don't really know if there's any crazy updates with this 428 one, but we do have the newest one. So yeah, guys, that took me probably about 10 hours at this point to get this working properly. If it was helpful, guys, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm out, have a wonderful day, peace.